dudes and dudesses welcome to another video this time about a maze we will be making it here today together or rather i have already made some of it and i will show you how and we can expand on it together the reason why i have been making a maze is because i recently watched the movie shang chi you know the marvel movie it doesn't really have much to do with the comics the original huh? comics it's a really good movie. It's very fun. It's Minecrafty in many ways because there's bamboo scaffolding fighting on bamboo scaffolding. It doesn't get more Minecraft than that. And speaking of bamboo, there is a changing bamboo forest labyrinth. And that was what uh, got me onto this idea of building a labyrinth. A labyrinth are always cool. Maze for Americans, I think, is always cool. But a moving one, a changing one, that's even cooler. Now, if we rise above ourselves, we can see the maze in its entirety. This, my friends, is the maze that we were running through in the intro. And it's uh, pretty big. I think it's... Uh, what was it? 90 something by 90 something I think and it's a pretty big maze but it's not a huge maze uh, to build and what you can see in some places there 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 is doors hidden doors places where the maze can change and alter its course the course that you the player will have to take through it and I will show you how this works and how you can make this yourself and I will even try to make some further adjustments. Now you saw it right there, you saw it right there. Let's just hang out for a second and see if we can see when the maze changes. Door change there, door change there, there, there. That's how they change. So if you're running down here before you could run through like this, now you can. And you have to seek out an alternative route. Uh, to get through. Let's just look at how we build a door. So uh, first of all we go up one because then we have one uh, block room to have the redstone running through. Then we kind of build like this. We build three high because it has to be uh, give you a sense of being in uh, really being in a maze. So three high this is the door. In its off state you will be running right here. How do we power this? Very easy. We take a block right here. We put a torch right there that will fire that one. And then we put a block right there that will fire that one. And redstone right there that will fire that one. And now all we need to do is to power this block right here to change the state of the door. Unpowered, or rather powered, unpowered, Powered. As you can see, this takes one, two, and we've got to hide it up out on all sides. So it's a three wide block if we want to, uh, three blocks wide area if we want to hide it, which means that when we construct our maze, we need to have the walls between the passages themselves be three wide so we can hide the redstone mechanism to all sides. Down here we have the redstone and we have plenty of room in here to run a wire to uh, open or close the door. Now planning the maze is, um, is a different thing. What I did was actually to go on the internet and then I wrote labyrinth and there's a lot of drawings of labyrinths out there and I kind of used one uh, as inspiration i didn't follow it like block for block turn for turn but it's it's actually it's actually more difficult than you think to construct a maze that is both interesting and at the same time doable that brings me to the next thing we need a brain we need a brain that controls the doors randomly this is where the copper golem the green copper golem <laughs> would have come in handy perhaps but I tried out first with redstone. This is uh, the first attempt and 
uh, it's noisy and it's uh, difficult and I would have to have something like this basically uh, at every door and it's much too bulky. I could do something else but still it was too bulky and then I thought we need a really intelligent animal. You. Yeah, a sheep. You probably know this if you have built a sheep farm that when a sheep eats the grass it changes the state of the block. We can read that with an observer and if we put a sticky piston underneath with the redstone you can see when the grass grow back let's look at this one it eats it and it pushes it down when the grass grow back again on this block it will go up so now we have a way of randomizing how uh, a lot of outputs work that we can lead to uh, every doll that we want to have and we can even double it so we can have them in pairs like this if we want one door to close and one door to open like this. Furthermore we have the ability or the possibility to decide how often we want this to change because the more sheeps in there the more often the grass will get uh, eaten and the more you will have interactions with the doors. And here we are at the Mesa central brain. It's actually not used at all not as you can see here these two are used this is used this is used this is used and this is used but uh, these ones are not this one is not this one is not so we don't even use all of them so we have enough uh, and on this side only four is used and some of them go out and open and close more than one door you decide the state of the door because you can decide to have the redstone up or down uh, as you choose so not all doors start in the same um, state you can have doors that are open doors that are closed uh, depending on how you start the redstone so these guys are chewing away at the grass and they're making random patterns sending out or disabling signals to the doors now the way we do it let's just build one let's say we want to add a door somewhere fairly close to everything right here it will be a good spot for a door so we go down like this and you can see this is three wide and it's raised one so we can do something like this and then we can go and say where is uh, on this corner right here we can take we could do we just take this one so we need that one there probably and like this and you can use uh, redstone and you can use uh, redstone repeaters. So if we want to take this out, we can just go through here and we place redstone right there. It will get through uh, this and we place redstone right here, all the way to here. Now let's build up the door. So, and if we want to go, if we want to cross uh, one of these paths, of course, all we have to do is go there and there and then we place one on the other side but there was already um, a redstone right there so let's do like this and maybe for this one we will place one there and then we come to this side we place sticky pistons like this we fill it in again and then this is one we need to have it like this place that that and redstone like that and then we just place one there let's just do it manually as you can see now the door is closed let's just do this manually place it down here and now the door is open and moving the redstone block as I said we can decide this the initial state of the door so we have these kind of service areas all along in here and of course if we wanted to if we have a need to see it from the top we could close this off so it gets uh, prettier that way uh, you don't see it from in the maze but it's a service area now this is a pretty harmless maze you can spice it up if you want you can have doors that let out mobs deep drops where you die or drops into lava 
and uh, I will just show you how to make one of these as well. It does get more complicated the more of these lines that you have around the maze. Of course you have to be wary of not uh, crossing paths uh, undeliberately but we generally need three so if we say this one this one and this one and let's just build it out like this this is a good drop lava it is lava down here and then we need to replace these right here with uh, we need to go one further back sticky piston like this and we need to place these three here and then we need to power we need just to go through here we can build this up again so we are sure we are connecting with the right one right here like this and we just go we don't even need that we probably just need redstone like this and put redstone on here and here and here like this and now the floor is back and whenever this changes state you know what happens when you come here and you see this this is actually pretty terrifying you can get over it like that but i mean that's up to you if you want to make it like it's not possible to get over or you want to make it just a challenge but you can add in these kind of challenges in the maze if you place this maze somewhere near or over some kind of spawner you could also have mobs going up into a room like this for instance and then have a door open that will let out the mobs so that suddenly there's mobs in in the maze that you have to fight or that you have to run away from and that would be pretty cool too all right guys thank you for watching that was all that i wanted to show you in uh, this video and i will leave a world download of this maze in my discord community as always then you can try it out for yourself uh, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did remember to leave a like it helps the channel immensely and if you're brand new subscribe hit that belly button and all that jazz and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>